What a dope. That's the headline in the news of the world attacking the gold medal, um, eight-time gold medal winner Michael Phelps caught with cannabis pipe. And everybody's bashing him and they're saying he's going to lose his endorsements. And my only answer is, so what? I mean, this is such a sick joke. You can have the CIA caught shipping in heroin and cocaine and never get in trouble. I mean, the police actually catch the airplanes landing or they crash filled with it or you know, constantly the police are caught dealing drugs. But that's no big deal. Let's just forget about that. But then meanwhile, uh, more than half the population admittedly uh, has smoked or is smoking cannabis. Upwards of 90% of youth say they've tried cannabis. I've smoked marijuana. I don't uh, like it. I don't smoke it. Uh, but I've smoked my fair share of it. I mean, does that mean I'm, I'm discredited? Uh, marijuana doesn't kill brain cells. Alcohol does. Uh, alcohol is much worse in every study than marijuana. But it's okay if a sports person smokes, uh, you know, a pipe or smokes cigarettes, which kill hundreds and hundreds, was over 300,000 people a day. And it's okay if they drink, which kills around 400,000 a year. Uh, if you count all the alcohol-related diseases and car wrecks, that's okay. Marijuana kills nobody. And George Washington smoked it. Yes, that's in the biographies about him. So, again, George Washington wasn't fit to lead this country, and I guess he can't have our endorsement either because he smoked Mary Jane. Now, i got a lot of serious and important news to get to, but I'm opening the show up of this today because I'm sick of it. 87% of illegal drug users only use marijuana. They don't use anything else. In fact, I know a lot of pot smokers, and they don't use anything. They don't even drink, but they smoke marijuana. And now, obviously, anything can be abused. I know potheads, uh, you know, who are just worthless. I won't hire people who are potheads because, you know, they're, they're lazy and they'll smoke it at work. And if I catch people smoking pot or, you know, coming to work stone, they're fired. But what somebody does in their own home is their own business. And, you know, this guy, a lot of athletes, Schwarzenegger, he's the governor of California. I don't like him for his political stances of, gun control and things like that. But, I mean, he's on film in Pumping Iron smoking pot after he wins the championship, and there's a lot of NFL people I've talked to who after a game will smoke it because they're all stressed out. They're all, you know, mentally fired up. It's a way for them to come down uh, after they've been all stressed out. And there's hundreds and hundreds of medical uses for marijuana. All the major studies show it's much better for you than Valium or something for people that are or, or people who have glaucoma or folks who can't eat because they're on chemo. On and on again. But the main reason I'm against what's happening here is 87% of drug users only use marijuana. You decriminalize that, the drug war ends. It fails. It dies. This excuse to have SWAT teams raiding everybody and checkpoints and searching our kids at school, turning America into a giant gulag. So the media loves attacking this guy, trying to tear him down so they can prop up their phony, stinking drug war. Stay with us. The headline reads, what a dope. 14-time Olympic gold medal winner Michael Phelps caught with cannabis pipe. Some little sneaky person took a photo of him at a party smoking pot. This is the astonishing picture which could destroy the career of the greatest competitor in Olympic history. In our exclusive photo, Michael Phelps, who won a record eight straight gold medals for swimming at the Beijing Games last summer, draws from a bong. And they just love it. They run all these ad council commercials when they're not recruiting new youth brigades for the new President Obama, equating marijuana with al-Qaeda and terrorism. Because there are millions of people that have gone to prison, tens of millions over the decades, and served hard prison sentences for marijuana. They need to keep those slaves. It's just legalized slavery. That's all it is. And so they love demonizing this guy. Plus, people love tearing down a champion. They love seeing somebody fail or get in trouble because it makes them feel better about themselves and their lives. Instead of uh, you know, being better competitors or better business people or better humanitarians, they just sit around being a critic. What did Teddy Roosevelt say about that? It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who was actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errors, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does not, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, 
and who, at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Absolutely. And there's another facet to this story, the reason I opened the show with it today. That is that this is the top story in the country today. Not that we're going into depression, not that government corruption is at every level, not that there are at least 10 bills introduced that will effectively end the Second Amendment and ban most firearms and register and license all gun owners federally. No discussion of that in the media because it's wildly unpopular. Close to 70% are against any new gun control, victim disarmament legislation. The more they go after our guns, the bigger the gun culture grows as we rediscover liberty, as we rediscover the fount of liberty and armed population, that final insurance policy against corruption and tyranny. Is it national news that they're building FEMA camps everywhere? Yeah, that's here and there in the papers. The legislation's introduced to publicly merge them and federalize your local police under the FEMA camps with regular army on the streets. See, we should be hearing about that, not about eight-time gold medal winner at one Olympic Games, Michael Phelps. So I'm done talking about that, but later in the week, I think I'm going to get uh, Mark Stepnoski, the former um, Cowboys center, who's a big uh, marijuana advocate, on to talk about uh, this because he says he smoked it while playing football and that it helped him. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, certainly discuss all of that. I mean, you look at this hypocritical, drugged-out population over 100 million prescriptions for serotonin reuptake inhibitors in the year 2008 alone, according to the Associated Press. A million, excuse me, a hundred million. Did I say a million prescriptions? Over a hundred million prescriptions uh, written for that here in the United States alone. It eats holes in your brain. It's highly toxic. It's hallucinogenic. It puts you in a dreamlike state. It's toxic, but that's okay. And now in the last two months, the, the major drug makers of both the speed drugs, like the Ritalin class, and the serotonin reuptake inhibitor, psychotropics, they've come out and said this should be legalized for everybody and be over the counter. We covered that a few weeks ago. So they want to make stuff that eats holes in your brains and causes massive suicide, psychotic breaks, both the speed drugs and the uh, Prozac class drugs have now had to put messages on their inserts admitting it can cause hallucinations, admitting it causes psychotic breaks, both these classes of drugs. What is it, 40-something million are on the uh, speed drugs. So they want to make that over the counter. They want to have the entire population on that, but oh my gosh, somebody smokes weed that George Washington smoked, and man, it is over. We got to freak out and run around like chickens with our heads cut off, uh, talking about how evil marijuana is. Talk about a red herring. Talk about a distraction. Talk about a diversion. It's just unbelievable. So I'm done discussing that. If you want to call in, we're opening the phones up later in the hour. Toll free number to join us, 800. 800- Two five nine nine two three one eight hundred two five nine ninety two thirty one. Okay, now let me get into the stack of important news that we're going to go through in detail today.